What is up print squad? I am back with another video and today I'm going to be printing on some bags. So if you want to see what I'm printing, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. All right, print squad. Today I'm going to be printing for my basketball squad or my basketball training group. All right. So here's the bags right here that I'm going to be printing right here. You can check that out. And the design is going to be printed in lime green because y'all y'all know your girl like that lime green so i'm gonna go ahead and um get everything set up so that i can cut the design out because i'm going to be using vinyl and they do have special vinyl if you're going to be printing on something like bags of this type but i'm going to just be using regular vinyl today and hopefully everything will work out if not i do have an extra bag just in case i mess up but I, i'm thinking it's going to work out so i'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and get started okay um, i'm gonna be using this lime green vinyl right here i already have a little bit cut off so i'm gonna go ahead and load this up in my cutter and cut the design out and let you guys check it out Okay, it's telling me it's a bad position. Let me redo that. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Whoa. Let me see. I, I don't know. I'm having some issues, y'all. Let me try to get this right. Tell you what i was trying to save a little vinyl i'm just gonna turn it the the other way and do it like that because i don't know if that's why it's having some issues or what's going on let me see It's working now, so I guess we got that situated. And y'all, I just realized I made a mistake. Um, I did say that I was going to be using lime green, but the color I'm using is not actually lime. It's more of like a Kelly green, like a bright green. It's not actually lime. I'm sorry about that. I know somebody probably gonna be like, that's not lime. So I, I just wanted to go ahead and say that. But I'm just waiting on everything to cut out right now. Let y'all check out the design. Y'all seen my design before. I just kind of tweaked it a little bit. So as you can see right there, it looks like it's cutting out the last one. And I actually could have put another one over on this side right here but I had it set for the 15 inch paper instead. So this is actually 20 inch what I'm using. And I'm gonna let you guys see uh, right here. I'm actually, I'm gonna be printing on the stalls press today. So right here, I do have everything set up. I have it for 3.30 for 15 seconds, but I'm probably not going to need 15 seconds because of the material. And also I have this, uh, the big thing on here right now. I'm going to be switching to this smaller one right here. So let me see. Go ahead and take that off. This is my first time having to do this. So 
Yeah, but it's simple, and that's my first time. Still simple. Knocking stuff down. Y'all know I'm out growing this place. Right there. So I'm gonna be using this 10 inch pad. I think it's a eight by 10 pad or a six by 10, something like that. All right, the vinyl is finishing up over here. All right, so got everything right here. I'm gonna go ahead and weed this bad boy. Usually, I, you know, because of the, how my design is, I do have small, I do have some small uh, letters on here and I didn't capitalize them. Usually if I'm doing something like this, I would try to capitalize the big letters so I won't have to worry about like dots from eyes and stuff like that. But we're going to go with what we got. Weeded vinyl, or got it upside down. Weeded vinyl right here, and I have the first bag right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and uh, let you guys check it out. All right, so I have the drawer pulled out all the way out as far as it can go. So what I'm going to do uh, with these bags, these strings should be on the inside. Like when you have it on your back, your arm should go through on this side and the string should hang here, I believe. I don't know, no, actually I'm wrong. I'm wrong, right here. The knots of the bag should be on the outside. And then you stick your arms through here, like so. So, what I'm gonna do is just uh, slide this on here, like thread it on, basically. And I had something in this bag earlier so that I could see about where I needed to um, to print the design at. So I'm gonna go back and, and grab another bag just so that I can show you guys that. All right, so what I have right here, I have this bag and I have these shirts that I put inside the bag, like, um, you know, what someone would be carrying. So what I'm gonna do, I'm put this inside the bag and I'm drawing the strings on the bag right here. And I'm going to show you guys about where I want the design to be. So that would be right off in this area right here. I don't want to put it too, down, too far down to the bottom. Let me see. It's hard to do this like standing. Let me see if I can find a better angle. All right, so you see how I have the bag drew up like if you would be carrying some items in there and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it here. I don't want it too far down to the bottom. I want it, you know, a little bit down from where it's going to start to crinkle up from being, you know, from the drawstrings being closed. But if they have more stuff in it, you know, it'll like where the fabric is pulled together won't be so low. But like with what I, what I have, I'm just going to place it about here and I'm going to get my measuring tape so that I can measure and see about how far down I want this to be. So I'm gonna uh, measure from the bottom where it's kind of flat at. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out or slide it up some anyway. Okay, so it's gonna be about here. Use the artwork on the back of here to kind of line it up straight so I'm going to measure it from the fold area. So it's going to be about four and a quarter, about four and a quarter inches from the bottom. 
So that's what I'm gonna go with. So y'all saw where I had my measurements set from the bottom. It's about four and a quarter from the bottom. So I have it threaded on here. I'm gonna measure it out right here and try to see about where this is gonna be. So that's gonna be about right there. Four and a quarter. I'm gonna try to get it on here and then I'll position it correctly. Y'all, you see your girl struggling. Y'all see me struggling, trying to get it right. Let me see. All right, about. Four and a quarter would be about there. Okay. So we got it on here. All right, now we make sure that everything is centered up. Dang it, y'all see that? Your girl, your girl's struggling. She's really struggling today. Let me do this one more time for y'all. Four and a quarter. The struggle is real. It be real sometimes, y'all. It be like this. Four and a quarter. This is probably the best way to do it anyway. Four and a quarter. It's about right here. All right, so we gonna, I'm just going to... Stick that down right here to make sure it don't move on me that time. All right. So we're going to see about four fingers over that way. Need to move it over slightly. Let me see. Tell you what, I'm going to just get my T squared on this part. Try, I was trying to do it quick, but quick don't always work. So we are, we on seven right there because that's about seven inches wide. Let me see. And we got it, we got it about right. It's about in the right place. Yeah, it's about in the right place. So we good on that. All right, so go ahead and slide this on here and hopefully this will stay stuck on here and not mess up stay stuck on there for me stay on there for me all right so we weeded this on here so now i'm gonna go ahead and close this up hopefully it'll stay on on here it look easier when you see them doing the vi the styles video so we got that right there they closed that up right here it's getting caught up under stuff all right, so we got it right here. We're going to go ahead, put it on here and press that down. And actually, I need to fix the pressure. Need to fix the pressure. One, two, three, four. All right, that's light pressure right there because it's still got zero. I forgot I was using that pillow on the last thing. All right, I don't even think I need all that time, so just going to put it on there. And I see already this one part wasn't under there like it was supposed to be, so I'm going to tap it again right quick. Then get it on there even. Okay, so we got that right there. All right, hopefully everything worked out and it's going to stick, but we shall see. All right. This still is a little bit warm. All right, so we got this first one done right here. Check this first one out right here and kind of see. Let me know what y'all think about it down below. Did I choose the right colors? Is this going to work? I think it's okay. After checking out the bags, I don't know. I didn't really just, uh, I don't know. I guess they are okay, but I just did that one bag. So 
what I want to do is uh, I'm going to put the picture up right over here for you guys and I want y'all to check it out and I want y'all to take a look at the bag. Now it is digital camo and it's the black, gray, and white digital camo. So I want you guys to let me know if you think another color would be better. Um, you know, I, I know orange probably would be okay, but I didn't really want to use orange. So y'all check it out and let me know what y'all think. And I'm going to, I'm going to see if, uh, you know, if I can use another color, I don't know. I kind of was thinking about like yellow gold, you know, like the color yellow, that's gold, like this color right here that kind of looks orange, but it's gold. Then we got this right here. That's regular yellow. Didn't want to go with that. Was thinking about going with that. So like I said, I have the picture right up here. I want you guys to check that out. The picture right over here on this side. And let me know what color you think would go best. Because before I finish the rest of these bags, you know, I want to kind of get an, an opinion from you guys. So hopefully y'all can let me know. And I can print these by the end of the day today. Because I'm going to go ahead and post this video on Friday, which is the 26th tomorrow. Which is going to be which is gonna be today when you're watching this video. So I, I'm doing extra for y'all. You know, just so I can get some input. Uh, let me know what y'all think. That's about all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and to my T-Shirt Chick Live channel, which is the one with the red logo. And also follow me on Instagram at T-Shirt Chick TV and join that Prince Squad group on Facebook. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in another video. Prince Squad out.